being able to get fully immersed within a culture and just to see and experience um, a different way of life and um, just to just to feel you know that connection that you get from from being in a different culture was was probably one of my favorite parts of the trip getting to see the uh, the unfinished slaves of Michelangelo and the David um, and then also you know kind of seeing the, the beautiful landscape of Cinque Terre and being able to go through the towns and stuff like that that was Amazing. Oh my gosh, my favorite part. Like, is, that's not even a fair question. That's like asking a mother of four who her favorite child is. What I learned about the bridge between art and science is that they really go hand in hand. It's like going to a concert, but then not taking any pictures. You know, it's hard for other people to relate to what you saw, you know, unless you can depict it. That's what the, the artists back then did. They wanted to show people, you know, this is what I've seen. Being able to see what these artists did hundreds and thousands of years ago and to see how that has now impacted our healthcare system, our field in physical therapy, everything like that. It was really exciting for me to be able to have this opportunity to really merge those two different worlds that I love both um, and see the practicality of that going forward in the profession. It was amazing seeing how da Vinci was is the true Renaissance man in every way how um, he just took all these different fields. And he wasn't even a jack of all trades, he was a master of all those fields. Like how could he possibly have been so good at painting, so good at dissecting? Like how does he have the time for all these? But it's because he saw how they all intermingled and a, a grander picture of each. And I think in that sense, uh, the two are very similar. Being able to see the, the detail that these people put into to the anatomy when they didn't have the technology that we have today or the tools or the instruments to, to analyze those things, um, it was incredible. And I definitely think that having the background and the knowledge um, of anatomy, of physiology, all of those things really helped to have a greater appreciation. It was important to kind of go back to the roots. Yeah, we study anatomy, but this is really where it started from. And so it was nice to see everything where it was in the grassroots phase and nothing has really changed. You know, we just discover more and more and that's kind of what they do over in Italy. They just keep finding more stuff. I think the big thing that we kept um, having reinforced to us was the idea of observation and see what you can gather from different angles and different perspectives and the same can be said with any patient interaction. What this trip really had in mind was to develop our ability to see people and to see things that are not necessarily on the surface and to be able to like look deeper into that. This um, course and this experience really helped to, to do that for me. You really learn to problem solve on these kinds of trips and learn how to step out of your comfort zone to engage with other people. Um, so I think being exposed to that type of environment completely away, completely out of my comfort zone, that can come up in the clinic. And so it's important to be able to know how A, you're going to react and then B, how you're going to handle it. My favorite art piece that we saw, that's a hard question. My favorite art piece was the Primavera. I just loved the colors of that and just everything that was going on in that scene. Every time you looked at it, you could see another detail. You, you had a mood that was transferred to the audience from the artist, which I just think is such a crazy skill to have. My favorite art piece, it was probably the David. It really is a masterpiece of sculpting and the size of it. I mean, it's almost two stories tall, so I was just in awe. Our patients should know that the body is beautiful and the body is actually a work of art and that's how you should treat it and you know it helps them embrace themselves more and see how you know we're so complex in how we move and I want to help you understand that so we can treat that and we can heal each other. By recognizing that beauty in others we can then empower them um, to see that in themselves. You know I'm thankful for it because not only did I get to see some incredible things and learn some amazing stuff, but I also got to form like incredible relationships with other people that, you know, I probably wouldn't have if it wouldn't be for this trip. I'm so glad it happened.